when installing bus when you're putting a coupling on it is important that you see these plates in here it has to line up with the plate in the middle also this hole right here has to line up with this ground that's right here let me show you this hole also when you go to torque it you gotta tighten this until the head snaps off I'll have a better video when we're actually installing a piece so you can see it but that's the basics of it and you can't forget you got a megometer each piece you the higher reading the better when you're Megan and you also have to check for continuity on this bus continuity would be between my neutral and my ground plate. These are my phase plates, A, B, and C. And this is when you, I put the coupling on. My two plates have to be in between these. A, B, C, neutral. And then this is the hole I was telling you about right there. So the piece would go on. And then I snap the head off. Once I make it, and make sure that you know everything checks out. But it's good practice to, to make each individual piece, and then make it as a whole, as well as wring it out each individual piece and make it out as a whole, and keep a log of it. So in case you know you do have a problem down the road, you know where to look at if you have to correct the problem. Meg reading should be as high as possible. I mean, I read on online that uh, uh, reading of one or greater is better, but I, I, I really try to shoot for them as high as possible. Humidity and dust, that can affect your Meg readings. And uh, as well as you got to make sure that these things do not get wet. So, there you have it. And you also know if you got it right, because when you go to put your cover plate on, this cover plate, see how the holes line up? The holes should line up up there. If it doesn't, you know you got your piece installed wrong. So, hope this helped out. Thanks for watching.